So welcome friends. So it's the last six months you are preparing for the NEET PG or for the institute exams. You have the last six months to achieve your target. So how to withstand the last six months of NEET PG preparation? That is the most important thing. And this is a time most of you will be so much confused and you will be having so much of uh, decisions to be done. So let me discuss what are the things to be done in this last six months. And this is COVID crisis period among the PG aspirants. There are many people having many crises, economical crises, etc, etc, financial crisis among the companies. And there are so many crises among the people, public. And for PG aspirants, what is the crisis you are facing now? So the first important crisis, you have no live class. If you have a live class, attending a live class in a classroom will, de will be definitely a motivating one. You have an on stage motivation, you have people surrounded, you will get an idea how to prepare all those things you can do. But there is no live class, no on stage motivation and you have no stress buster in those days when we are preparing. We always used to go for a movie once in a week or we can have a get together in a hotel once in a week. So now nothing is possible. You are having a monotonous preparation now. The preparation is going monotonous. And comparative and group study is impossible for you now. You don't have a comparative and group study method. So all libraries and study rooms are closed. So all these are the disadvantages you are facing in this COVID period. So where do you stand now? So what is your status now? I am going to categorize you into three people. So category A, you have finished around 10 to 12 subjects by this time first round. First round reading you have finished thoroughly. 10 subjects to 12 subjects you have finished thoroughly. That is category A. Category B, you have prepared around 4 to 5 subjects by this time, one round thoroughly. So you have prepared 4 to 5 subjects by this time, one round thoroughly. Only 4 to 5 subjects. Category C, the person who have prepared, just now started preparing, only 2 subjects maximum you have finished. So these are the 3 guys, I am going to tell what are you going to, what, what is your plan, how to approach the remaining 6 months based on this category. Category A guy, prepare with the same force, you have done an excellent job in the past few months what you have done is the ideal thing you have finished around 10 subjects so nobody or at least 25 percent of the people in the country have finished around 10 subjects so you are doing an extraordinary job please move on with the same force and energy go with the same force and energy so target for september 30 you have to complete all the subjects target september 30 in august and september you have to complete all the subjects you should finish one time and october november you fix it for revision only and from December onwards, you should have the, the third revision. So actually I have mentioned a second revision, third revision. So I am saying indirectly. So one time reading, you should complete by September. First revision, you should complete by November. And the second revision, you should complete by December. And January, you will be having the exam. Category B, it's now or never guys. Please remember you are in a, you are in a cat on the wall. If you just slip, you will never get a seat. If you are going to withstand, you can easily get a seat. You are going to put your full effort now. Push extra, extra time. Don't waste your time. Try extra hours. Even try to prepare at least 12 hours per day. So complete the first, first reading before October 31st. Please try to complete before October 31st. Push more fast. So don't read slow. Fix short number of days for minor subjects and for major subjects give more importance and prepare very fast go within october 31st you should complete your first time reading and you should complete the revision the second time reading by november and december middle by side november and december middle you should complete the second time reading and third time reading should be done in the last 15 to 20 days in the december and in the beginning of january so please fix like this category b guys you are the most crucial person you have to withstand very strongly than a category a you should run fast to reach the level of category a per a persons so category c i will tell you you have done a very big mistake for the past six months no doubt but don't worry there are so many people who have achieved with the full energy in the last six months of preparation so you have time you have time enough time now don't read high level points don't waste time on reading so many uh, depth points just read all the subjects try to complete all the subjects in major subjects like uh, medicine surgery og all these things you should complete in seven to eight days or maximum 10 days minor subjects like um, skin anesthesia radiology psychiatry forensic medicine these small subjects you should try to finish in two to three days try to finish in two to three days so read as fast as possible and try to complete before november first reading you should complete before november at least one reading it should be completed by now but then only you will have a confidence to revise in the next two months december and january beginning you can revise for a few months and please 
all of you guys category a b c all of you please remember don't ever believe in rumors which may come all the time they may tell you the exam will be postponed it will not be in january it will be in february march everything will keep on happening so as of now we are seeing most of the exams are happening as compiled and there is very less chances of postponement if at all there is postponement there will be only one or two weeks it will not be much for two or three months will not happen so please be motivated and keep your target okay so now there are certain questions which the students used to ask so selecting the faculty to read a subject now it is a era of online classes and online apps so you have to select one faculty for one subject so please select one subject one faculty this is most important mantra in the preparation you select one faculty to see the videos of the faculty or attend the classes online of one faculty don't stress stress yourself somebody will tell sir oh this faculty is giving this much of points enormous points he is telling he is telling so much a recent advance like that some people will disturb you what you are reading no faculty is superior and no faculty is inferior all are equal so please prepare with one faculty as mantra whatever that faculty tells try to collect all the points that he is going to tell ultimately what you are going to retain is more important than each faculty your faculty is going to tell 100 points and if you are going to retain only 20 points it is no use if a faculty is telling 50 points and you are retaining 50 points that is what needed so don't worry about the faculties so whoever the faculty you have selected let it be that you follow that faculty and prepare the subject as simple as possible okay selecting the faculty don't get confused and stressed by comparisons so what's going on in your mind now i know very well i have seen 12 years of pg aspirants 12 years i have seen associated with this coaching center and other uh, coaching things so i have seen the students getting this mid of preparation they get this confusion will i get a seat now am i preparing well i am getting poor score in online exam series will i succeed i am forgetting everything i am reading depressed to the core all these are common things going among all the 99% of the pg aspirants will have this only 1% of them will not have this so all of them will be having this confusion so please don't give up so definitely you will get a seat definitely you will get a seat everyone will forget what they are reading especially when you complete first time you will be totally blank at the end of the first time reading no uh, what you read two months back it will be totally new when you open and now, open and see now for example you read two months back ophthalmology now you go and open the same ophthalmology guide or the note which you read or the notes you read it will be totally new totally totally new you will be depressed to see it so please don't get that much tension only during the second and third revision you will strengthen the knowledge of the subject and you have the confidence to approach the exam so everyone at the end of first time reading will be blank only will be blank only will be blank only so please don't get upset definitely you will be thinking uh, you will not get a seat that is very common myth among the students definitely you will get a seat please keep preparing so there are some questions from the students desk i would like to answer here i corrected from the students what all the questions they have so let me answer these questions so first question so source of material what source of material can i read sir what source of material i can read so the first question guide books so guide books guide books is very famous few years back all the students used to have one guide book for example surgery sixer for surgery and uh, selectively each book they have one guide book and they used to read skin to skin in those days but now the trend is changing because guide books are taking more time now the students are moving towards handwritten notes handwritten notes of online app platforms or various platforms somebody written hand, handwritten notes they are reading and some people are going for printed materials from various coaching centers and some people are going for own handwritten notes while studying so any one you can do i am telling you there is nothing is superior again so the best among these four is writing your own notes and preparing your own notes that will make your preparation easy preparing with your own notes is the best among this if you can write notes reading from various material or somewhere else you have your own source of material so one one written notes by yourself for medicine or surgery that is the best because that will be 100% in your brain whatever you are writing by yourself 100% will it will impact your brain and it will be there for long time but if you are going to read from others handwritten notes or from other coaching center notes or from other guide books you will definitely retain only 60 to 70% so you should try to write your own notes if possible okay so about writing online exam series now you can see there are enormous online exam series has come in the era of covid so many online series people have started online exam series like a fish market there are so many online exam series so many online papers available so please select a good online series at least one 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 series you select 
don't waste time on uh, getting confused whether to go for this or that or this there are so many series available and most of the series are available even for free most of the series are even available for free so don't waste time on selecting which is best series take one series which you feel is good or take one series and follow that series in a dedicated way you just keep writing exam subject wise i would like i would request you to write one subject wise exam like 150 question for anatomy that's enough and every month have one grand test every month write one grand test from now on from now onwards write one grand test every month that's enough that is enough so don't keep on writing all the exams here and there please be alert with those things so some people are there asking me a question sir i only want to get qualified eligibility is enough guide me so eligibility is enough because my parents are ready to pay me for a private college even i get if eligible i will definitely get in a uh, medical college whichever seat i want so these are the people i am seeing nowadays more and more upcoming and for them the eligibility is alone is enough if they get eligible definitely they will get a seat and for getting eligibility it's very easy it is not a tough thing you can see the cut off has been reduced even this year so definitely to get eligible you just keep preparing with a minimum source of materials like a, a guide books or some notes written by yourself or some important points you select and write yourself and make a small notes and read that alone you will definitely get qualified getting qualified will not be a big task at all you will get qualified easily if you read for the remaining 6 months if you read you will get qualified at least 5 hours you read for the remaining 6 months you will get qualified so will there will there be more repeats in the upcoming exam because of this covid era will there be more repeats will i get more easy questions so don't expect like that neat pg 2020 is a really standard paper we saw last year and it had around 150 clinical exam questions so more of clinical oriented questions are coming up in future next level questions are coming up so please read the concept thoroughly don't expect to be having more repeats so please thorough the repeat questions but understand the concepts understand the concepts if you know the concepts you can answer any mcq so go with understanding the concepts that is more important definitely the paper will be tough especially neat pg 2021 paper will be tough at least equal to neat pg 2020 it will be at least equal to 2020 paper what all subjects must i must be focusing more for neat pg so please remember the more important subjects last year what happened no 60 to 70 questions came from medicine 50 straight forward questions from bailey and love 40 straight forward questions from obg so these three subjects played a major role last year medicine surgery og had around 140 questions straight forward so please be thorough with these three subjects medicine surgery og you must be thorough must be thorough in the sense you can spend extra 3 4 days also in these subjects so three subjects more important all other subjects especially the basic science subjects last year the question numbers were only 5 6 anatomy physiology biochemistry and we saw very less number of questions and those questions are also more of applied like only 6 to 7 questions came in those basic subjects so basic science subjects give a fast revision and more clinical oriented revision of those basic science subjects that's enough so give more importance to clinical subjects and give adequate importance with the clinical orientation for basic science subjects that is that is what i i request you in this last minute so shall i study alone or in groups always group study is best group study means you need not sit and prepare all together you prepare together with the with the same streamline you will get motivated you can discuss with those guys so always studying in studying in group is best but because of this covid issue nobody can study in groups so you have to study alone but even if you are studying alone in your home please have a small close to whatsapp group of four or five members and you discuss with yourself and you just keep posting the questions what you are reading select some subjects let us fix this one week for surgery all of you fix one week surgery and prepare like that so no need no need to gather it is not essential to gather but you can definitely keep preparing in a group through online so i suddenly felt another faculty in another app is good off the way of my preparation what to do now this is what i told you so this happens regularly what happens now when you are seeing a medicine in one platform you are going on suddenly you will feel another platform the medicine is very nice and extraordinary so you should not feel like that whatever the faculty who is giving in this platform is giving is best if he is giving 100 points and if you are going to retain this 100 points you are going to definitely get a seat if the other faculty is telling 200 points and if you are going to retain only 40 points what is the use you should retain what is more important is what you are going to retain from the faculty's concepts try to retain as much as possible don't keep on jumping from one faculty to faculty please go on with whoever already you selected no need to change any faculty now will there be next year next so don't scare about next coming up next year try to get a seat and go this year itself next may come or may not come next year but as per mci guidelines they have already told next will be coming from next year we don't know what will happen 
but whatever the exam is going to come it is all going to be the same mcq pattern same clinical oriented pattern so don't worry about the next coming up next year please be serious and stay motivated and prepare for this year so this is one of the major fear among the students what to do if i don't get a seat my parents will feel bad this is classical thing so please make your parents understand with the, with the help of your friends this is a tough exam of the one and a half lakh students writing every year only 5000 to 6000 students are getting a good seat you should make this understand among your parents so make some of your friends and all of you should make it understand to your parents and don't worry about it most of your parents will understand it i will make a video for the parents in future for pg aspirants so that they won't at least after hearing that video they won't disturb the students who are preparing for pg so don't worry about it and make your parents to understand what is this exam that is more important okay so the most important thing apart from all is stay motivated self confidence stay motivated the only person who can push you one more extra step is yourself nobody will push you in this era i am seeing nobody is motivating the their own friends or their own relatives everyone is trying to pull the leg of other person this is what happening in this era because of the high competition because of the high competition people are bullying and they are trying to suppress nepotism all these thing are, are going on more so in this era you have to have your own self confidence and motivation to pick up and you have to achieve the target all the best okay thank you